All right, so in this video, first and foremost, let's get started with installing Eloquent Viewable, which is a really convenient package for basically viewing posts and other things you may use. So what we can essentially go ahead there and do is we can count the views if you want to display it, or we can just keep track of it to sh make sure we display the correct content for the people and have like a popular section, for example. So let's go ahead and compose a require this. And let's go ahead then and publish our vendor file as well. And then we want to go ahead and migrate this. After we publish the vendor file, what we've done is we've created a migration file in here. So there is this create view table which will then create a view table. So it basically stores the ID, the viewable, morphs, visitors, attacks, collection, view that. And then lastly, you can also decide to publish a configuration file if you want to. We're not gonna do any configuration to this, so we will essentially just head into our article model now. And in here, first and foremost, let's go ahead and say implements. In this case, it is called viewable. And then we just need to go ahead down here and say use, in this case, in tax with views. Perfect. So now we should be able to start counting the views and everything. So inside our article block here, we mutate the data and we can probably go ahead and customize the data as well we pass through. But first and foremost, I want to go ahead and make sure we actually count the view when we visit an article. So let's go ahead into an article page. And in here, we want to on mount, we want to view it. So in this case, we could just go ahead and say views post record, for example. So let's go ahead and say views, and in this case, this article record. And if we then head back into our website, like here, let's see what happens if we go in and click here. And we're getting an issue with tip tap here, but that should be easy enough to fix. So let's go ahead and see if we can figure this out. Okay, so this does um, render a bit badly, but now it seems to be fine. So I think the other ones is just because we need to resave it because we changed the configuration round. So what we should be able to see now in a database is that this view has been stored. As you can see, we're now able to essentially view this one here. And this now allows us to essentially go into our home page and we can display things in here. So there's multiple ways we can get started with this. So we could essentially decide that we get rid of the home page completely and instead we determine the pages based on what we have inside this page table here. Uh, so let's find that table. And in here you can see we have a test page here. But for now I'm gonna keep the home page as customizable because maybe you want to add some more things into it so we'll have that as a standard page. So instead, inside our web.php file, let's go in and just have a page slug. And the way we do this is we get the page model, we bind it, and then we get the slug here. And then in this case, let's go ahead and make a LiPi component. Perfect. So now we just need to go ahead and include this one here. So then let's go ahead and import this. And let's call this page to show. And then here we need to have a public page as page. We should pass through a view here. And we should then be able to hopefully 
uh, change the URL around here, go into, in this case, test. And the root model binding did not seem to work in this case. So what if we just go in and say page one? And the reason why this probably isn't working is because we need to go ahead and import the page model here. So in this case, it would be this one as page model. Perfect. So this is now working. We just need to go ahead in here and say layouts, layouts app. Make sure we import this. There we go. So what we should be able to do now is inside here, we go ahead and copy over this part here. And let's head into our page.blade.php. And this seems to still work, which is perfect. So let's go inside here and now say why content. Or we could actually just go to the admin panel from here. There we go. So we do have this article one displaying in here. So if we go into the slash test, let's go into our page block here, which is this one, print out anything really. And let's see how that looks. Perfect. So now we're actually printing out the text here. We have these pages here where we can go in and now pass in the values. So now the question becomes, how can we basically put in this value and filter it through like we did? on the home page but in this case we let the user decide what we display so this is where it begins becoming a bit more complicated so let's get started working on that now so if we look in this function mutate data inside our block let's go to the base method which we can find if we go in here inside page block and we return mutate data here so that's basically what it does but if I went in here, for example, and instead I would turn an array in here with name as hello. We then went in here and said props. In this case, we said name. We also need to make sure we put this in parentheses. we get hello. So we can go inside mutate data essentially and retrieve all the essential value. So first and foremost, we want to go in here and die dump on the data we have for now. Just see what we get. So we get the limit, we get the popular and show load and heading and so on. So the first thing we want to get started on here is essentially just get articles here and say article and let's just say limit and in this case we can say data limit and then let's go ahead in here and say articles that's really the most important thing we want to pass through in here and let's go ahead and dump the articles And at the moment we get, it must be a type of string. So what if we just died on it quickly? There we go. So in here now we have a bit of information. So we're getting all of this in here, but we want to also go in here and say, get. There we go. So we get an array of three items. Perfect. We only have three articles. So in this case, it'll only go to three of course. So that's the first thing we want to pass through. 
and we're obviously going to customize this a bit more. The show load more button is something we're going to be working on later, but you can of course do with it what you want. Um, so if we go back in to our eloquent viewable pa package, we can actually also use this directly on the model. So we can essentially go in and retrieve this. So for example, if we say post in here, we could say latest order by unique view, for example. So for now, we can go ahead and create a private function, get articles, and then let's go in here and say this, get articles. Or we could even just go ahead and add this down here. Don't even have to have this in a private function, but for now the most important thing is that we say articles and then we go ahead and say article. And for now, the first thing we want to do in this case is we want to go ahead and say latest. And our primary objective right now is just ordering it by unique views. We could also find other approaches for this, by the way. So if you could go for some order by views and then we could say get, so we could also do it like that. It's really up to you how you want to do this. And we could go ahead and say articles. So currently we're getting a syntax error in here. So let's see what that is about. There we go. So in this case, we have this article here with this log test. Let's see what we have in the database here. So we have this one where we have ID one, that's the one we have viewed. And in this case, we viewed ID one, which is perfect. So that's, that should be the first one. If we went ahead and duplicated this, but for a different article and we changed this around a bit, Let's see what the array would now return. So the first one it returns in the array in this case would be test one. And in this case, test one is the ID two, which is perfect. So we're now basically ordering by unique views here. All right. So the next thing we want to go ahead and do in here is we want to obviously display the articles, but we don't always want to order by popularity. So in this case, we need to find a way to determine which one of these the user chose that we are going to have, how many we're going to limit by, which is super easy because we can still just go in and say limit, data limit, and let's get rid of the get here. So yeah, now we at least have this ability here where we can go ahead we could still die dump the articles and you can see we still have the correct amount. And we can essentially just continue on with customizing it here. And we're going to be doing that over the next few videos. So in the next video, we're going to start actually implementing the customizations from the various options we have specified here. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like and the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.